Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Professor Heinz's Choice. I received a community question to my last video, which was on creative urban editing. And the question was, how do you go about creating a preset for tone curves? So in today's video, I'm going to answer that question and show you how that's done. So stay tuned. So here I have Lightroom Classic open, and as you can see over on the right side of my screen, you see I have a tone curve adjustment already selected. Well, I'm going to show you back up a bit and show you how to go about creating that because this is actually important to saving a preset for that tone curve. So if we go over here now, you'll see the default where your point curve is set to linear. And if we select this menu, you don't see a way to actually save any of your presets. So how do you go about doing that? In order to do that, you have to alter the graph here within the tone curve in order to get that option. So what I like to do is just drop three anchors, drop them for my shadows, midtones, and highlights. And then you just alter the graph however you see fit for your particular image. Now, once we've done that, you see that the point curve selection has now changed from that linear option to now giving us a custom setting. So if we go back into that menu option now, you'll see at the bottom, it gives, up a it gives us a save option. So if we go and select save, we're now able to save any tone curve presets that we choose. As we alter that graph, you can then save those changes as you see fit. So once we've done that, we can now go back and select between all of those options. Now, the difference between these and a regular preset is that it's specifically saving your tone curve adjustments, whatever you do in your point curve or your color channels. Now, these can reside in your presets as you can save anything in a preset. So in this case, if we look at my presets to the left, you see these parentheses. What do those mean? Well, I named them based off of what the tone curve was utilized for that particular preset. So if you see SCS, Skyline Curve Strong. If we see PCS, that's for portraits. Um, if we see Custom TC, that means that I had uh, changed my tone curve a little bit from something that I had already done, but I haven't saved it as an actual tone curve preset, but I did alter it for that particular preset. So once you've done that, that's all it is. So as you can see, my list for tone curve presets and actual presets is a lot shorter and that's because I don't need that many. Once I have the look that I want, I just recall it as needed. So if I were to go in here, choose my four train curve plus, you see it has a more faded look because I've adjusted more of my black point here and sort of brought those levels up to where it gives a, a film or vintage look to the image. Hopefully that answers your question on how to save a preset for your tone curves and try it for yourself. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video.